Hey guys, with the whole movement of technology and YouTube in itself and social media and everything like that, I'm really just wondering where this whole YouTube thing is going. I feel in maybe like the next year, maybe the next two days, there's gonna be just like TV shows on YouTube. I know they have that now, but I'm talking about like YouTube creators collabing channels and creating like TV shows, I don't know, with like commercials and like those one soap operas. Not like the American soap operas though, like the Hispanic ones, I don't know what they're called. You guys know. I feel like some revolutionary stuff is about to go down on YouTube. Now with that being said, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start my own TV show. Oh, well, I already did, it's called The Guns of the Great. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in commercials and uh, do like sports channel, cooking channel. I mean, I've been doing it already, so if they base it on my channel, then I'm cool with it, whatever. But guys, let's start today off. Oh, little Jesse, yeah, he's doing good today. Yeah, he's doing just fine. Hey, stay away from, stay away from the cat poop, Jesse. Golly. What? Yeah, he's doing good. He's just kicking around the soccer ball. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah, he's getting real good at this. Wow. Wow. Hey, don't kick the ball so high. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, Becky, I'm about to call you back. Yeah, he just hit himself in the noggin. And this is the segment of the video where I actually sit down and watch YouTube. I haven't watched a YouTube video in about two weeks, so this is definitely weird and different. So, let's see, what we got in the subscriptions. Like I said, guys, I'm not even like appealed to like any videos right now it's really weird I don't know one video surprised me today I clicked on my vlog and then it ended up not having audio in the cinematic sequence which was weird and I put a poll on there it said whose fault was it premiere or myself I'm not sure how that poll was doing well I hope a lot of people said premiere because I don't remember cutting out the audio but that happened I'm gonna go home actually I'm just gonna go skate at this basketball court <laughs> Let's get into some snapchats, shall we? We shall. Great question. From Malachi Messenger. Do you believe in speaking in tongues, aka praying in the spirit? Of course I do. I pray in the spirit all the time. I speak in tongues all the time when I'm in prayer or at church or during worship, stuff like that. My phone's on 1%. Of course I chose to do this at 1%. <laughs> That's dope. Oh snap. All the OG's notes. My phone is dying. I think it's dead. Is it dying? Oh, yep, it's gone. Time to get close and personal. Man's asked, how does he deal with dry scalp and flakes? Now, I'm gonna address this right now. I have made a decision to try and keep all of the dreadlock stuff on Gunslock channel. So, I'm gonna try to do that from here on out, but after this question. Best way to get rid of dry scalp and flakes, I guess you use like natural oils. What I'm using right now, I'm using that Neutrogena like little hair wash, which I've, I've explained in the video and I said do not put this in your hair with the uh, Dr. Bronner shampoo, which I just misread the instructions on the Dr. Bronner's. It's okay to use Dr. Bronner's. But other than that, back to the show. What the heck are you guys doing over here or cooking in the kitchen? Follow me. <laughs> it has definitely been way too long, guys, but today we're gonna make macaroni and cheese with Gunther. Let's get into it. Shout out Retro Snickers. All right, guys, first thing you need is common sense. You're gonna need some medium shells. Medium, don't get large, don't get small. Make sure they're by Barilla or Berea, I don't know. Or Maria, shoot, I don't know, let's check. Yep, Berea, Barilla. You wanna get some spices? Pepper flakes, son. Real pepper, son. Soap for the salty son. Slick. Now they got everything that's gonna go in it. Wait a minute, that's not everything. You need some Velveeta cheese, son. I am chain. And take a good look in the fridge. See if there's anything else you can add to your ingredient list. 
Now you're also gonna need milk, but I'm gonna grab that once it's already almost finished, guys. But the second thing you're gonna need is one of these bad boys. Come right down here, man. You grab this thing right here. Move these. Oh, snap. Don't drop anything. That balance moves. You grab this right here. Take that out. No, it's down there. So you're gonna need one of these bad boys. Actually, preferably use an actual pan, not one of these saucepans, like an actual pot, not a pan, my bad. And then you're gonna need a, a drain, strain, or whatever this thing's called. First, a helmet. Now that you got all this, you're pretty much ready to go. Check out these bad boys right here, buddy. We got a sick lineup ready for you guys. First things first, turn on some agua in the water. Balance the water. Turn that off. All right, guys. Now that we got the water right about here, like literally right in front of my face, we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Look, we're gonna turn it on a seven and a half, or seven in the middle, seven in the middle of seven and eight. We're gonna bring this bad boy to a boil. While it's getting ready, we're gonna add some Morton Idolized Iodized Salt. For some reason, when I was a kid, my mom said that this makes water boil quicker. Fact or fiction? Heck if I know. And now we just wait for this bad boy to boil. <laughs> Dang, son. Y'all wanna know what else I'm having with this meal? Some prepped chicken. All I gotta do with this bad boy is microwave it. So I'm gonna show you guys that later. Actually, I'm not even gonna show you because I don't really need to. It's simple. Voila. Food is finished. I got some mac and cheese with some pepper drizzle on top and some pepper flakes. Chicken that was built to perfection. I'm gonna chill on this. I'm gonna head over to Candace's or she's coming over here. I don't know. We're trying to figure stuff out. And then I'm going to church. And then after that, we're gonna figure stuff out after that as well. Let's get going. All right, guys. We're going to church right now. Are you excited, Chance? Yeah. How excited are you, dude? Super. Raise your hand if you're excited, guys. Okay, guys, we're back at the old place right now. This is our last official day here. Hear how echoey it is in here? I said we were gonna, hold on, I'm not even gonna talk about any of this, but just clearing out some last stuff. We just have paperwork and stuff. It's so echoey in here. Oh, there's waters. Yeah, there's water in here. Oh, my coffee's in there, too. What the? What I'm just gonna the? grab this. There's a whole bunch of papers in here. What? What is the money stuff in there? That's the mulch. Got some last stuff. They called me one time and said that the door, like the front door, was open. Bro. Yeah. Oh, Diddy's making snacks? popcorn for our time being here. Chan was looking for the snacks. Sure, we moved out, Chan. Coffee. Get over it. Sure, I just oh, he copped some new Gym Shark gear. Check it out. I copped the shark. Uh, I copped this right here. Dang, they dope. got they got a new choker. Nah, it's not choker. This is tattoos. Tattoo. I copped that. Damn. Yeah. Tell me what y'all think about it. Popcorn does smell like booty. Alright, this is the trick I used to do back then. Oh, yeah. What the f Dude, you burnt me. And then you do this right here? Uh. <laughs> That's a cool trick, did he wake up? Guys, Candace is back. Hello. But this is the end of the video, so you don't get to see it that much. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just talking about literally everything today. Church was awesome, by the way. But guys, I hopefully you guys enjoyed the. <laughs> Come here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit the thumbs up. We would love that dearly. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out, and God bless. Jelly. I was carrying jelly on my elbow like that. What? Not jelly, but like a jar of jelly. Oh. It's cause like we were taking all the trash out of our old apartment and there was jelly in the fridge. Nate wanted us to bring home jelly for him. I guess he was mad because we left jelly at the old house. And like there were still drinks and like Dutch bros and stuff. In the fridge?
There was a whole bunch of stuff. There was Kellen's ice cream in the fridge. Really? 